popular now to talk about the microbiome. It's a phrase that's okay around here. It's not too <laughs> jargony, you know, that, that, that we carry this load of microbes in our gut and that they're actually quite important and things like that and that probably, what, 90-some-odd percent of the genes in our body are actually microbiotic genes, microbial genes, and 10 times more cells are belong to microbes than uh, it's not really clear who you're talking about when you say I, I guess, anymore, because most of the cells in your body are not actually you, they're the, this microbiome. But we usually think of those as bacteria, but I suppose, I mean, bacteria also have viruses, right? There are viruses sure. that just specialize in infecting bacteria. They so are, we have are. those as well riding we, we along have, with us? We have tons of those in all, wherever there's bacteria in or on our body, there are viruses of bacteria. And those viruses modulate the bacterial populations. As soon as you are born, a wonderful study was done recently on newborn infants taking their first feces and looking for viruses over the next year. They immediately inherit some bacteria and viruses from their mother. The viruses shape their microbiome mm -hmm. as they grow. So these bacterial viruses are helping to shape right, the beneficial right, right. microbiome for us. So that's part of our virome. I would like you to uh, hang on to that word as well. Okay. Everyone loves the microbiome, but the virome has got to have its time one day as well. And we all have a virome. We have a virome, <laughs> and I'm sure it's beneficial. Well, it's having its time. We just haven't recognized its time. Of course. Sure, exactly. it's having exactly. its time quite happily. So... Um, I had a question in my head. <laughs> While you're thinking went, of it, let I me give you an just, example. Okay, so here, here's another wonderful experiment done right here in New York City. So everyone knows noroviruses, the cruise ship virus that make you have diarrhea and vomiting. Well, there's a, a related virus in mice that we can study, the norovirus of mice. And uh, now it turns out if you grow mice without their gut bacteria in the laboratory, their intestines are very aberrant. They're morphologically wrong. They don't have the right immune cells in them. But if you then feed them norovirus, it fixes everything. It fixes the gut. So really? this is an example of a beneficial virus. Now, in mice, norovirus doesn't make them sick as it does right. us. So here is and, a virus and this that... norovirus in, infects gut cells particularly or yes. bacteria? So, the, so it actually it's, it's works... It's a with... virus infecting the cells of the mice, not the bacterial cells. So it's just one example of a beneficial, beneficial. virus that can counter the effects of losing a microbiome. So there have to be similar viruses in us. In us. I'm, now I remember my question since you brought this up. So, so there are lots of pathologies, diseases, and so forth, which look um, genetic. And yet when you go looking for the gene for them, you either can't find the gene or you find a bunch of genes and you can't